Well, hello there, folks. Uh, I know my channel is a music channel, but lately, anybody who's been looking will notice there's not so much music on lately because I've I found, you know, uh, that this fracking situation we're in here in this country is more important to me at the moment than publishing music. But I will be back into publishing music. I have got a lot of good footage of a lot of good musicians on the Isle of Wight and I will be publishing it again soon. But at the moment I'm trying to lend my support uh, to the fracking communities in this country and uh, also this man who, who has been trodden on and uh, he, he's, uh, he's a good man, put it that way, and he's, he's been through a lot of shit and but he is on still on the ball after six years and uh, he is one of the main men so I'm actually gonna film this which is his latest video uh, because that, this guy needs some help from all of us uh, he is successfully uh, fighting one of the only ones who's bloody winning really here so here Hello, we go this is Jez, front man with an update on what we've done this week uh, it's Friday the 27th of uh, October. Uh, we are now entering into week nine, uh, waiting for our decision uh, against Sachi Javid. Uh, just to remind you again, one guy, one group, with very little support, taking on the government. Just to remind you of that fact, when we're talking about we're being united, we're being uh, solidarity, one guy, one group, taking on Sachi Javid. All right, uh, and We've got a little friend here as well that's been making an appearance in a second or two. Because believe it or not, some people are trying to send us back. What a great week. As many of you know, uh, we had a fantastic win at Lancashire County Council. Beck and Soul with the group. Residents uh, Ribble Estuary against Fracking. Residents are going to come up in a second or two. Just wait. Uh, so Ribble Estuary against Fracking, who have been a phenomenal group. Who we also, uh, you, you, Many of you heard about me speak about him. Uh, Plenty of times before. Uh, the uh, involvement the indomitable uh, John Powney uh, did a, a, pulled a blinder, an absolute blinder. They have been a fantastic group for over uh, nearly seven years now. They were going like three, three or four months before we started. Could not believe how much they knew, even at that time. Uh, when we're talking about networking, which some groups now are saying they are doing and going out networking, I've been doing that for six and a half years. Reef were the group that I used to go to every single Thursday. I used to go to a local meeting for the local group and I left after six months because I'd had enough. Uh, and we're going to mention them in a second. We know who they are. Uh, and I used to go over to Reef to find out uh, information, to give them as much information as I could from the far coast. And it paid off. As you know, we've been very successful. This is yet another win against Quadrilla and this is a major win that you in your groups will be able to use as well. How do you find out about that? You speak to people like me that have been on the front line, know what they're doing, and done all the graft in the, in the background. Not a one minute hero, not a two minute hero, not a two week hero. This has been going on for now for six years. This is not about heroism. This is not about uh, uh, you're blowing your own trumpet. This is about results. And Lancashire has been one of the most successful groups in the country. I think only Scotland and Wales and Ireland are ahead of us. <laughs> You see, you've got to have humour in this game. Okay, so... <laughs> and we know there are other groups as well. All right, so uh, we're entering to week nine now. Take it on Sanji Javid. Like I said, the, the amount of evidence that they have to go through now just shows what a good case we put, put together. All right? N week nine we're in. Week nine. All right, and like I said to you, how many people actually helped me, my, me personally and my legal team, how many people out there actually helped them? Think about that. Friends of the Earth, Greenpeace, no. Frat Free Lancashire, no. Rosica, no. How scow many groups are actually supported this campaign? Put together from five minutes at, at the Blackpool Football Club. You tell me anybody in the country that's done that. Not bad for a DJ, kid entertainer. <laughs> right, week nine. Uh, what are we up to now? Uh, oh, yeah, we had a report. So that's fantastic news, and that's something that you'll be able to use in your, in, in your groups as well. The fact that the Lancashire County Council now uh, turned down the extension for Quadrilla and also an enforcement on Quadrilla to complete that bloody work. Enforcement.
endorsement. Lancashire has teeth. Yeah. Right. I mean, couldn't believe it this week. We saw a, a letter from High Furlong School. I think it's High Furlong School. Uh, informing the pupils about uh, they've got forms. Uh, Public Health England, you know, this, this uh, consultation one, you know, when we say meet the regulators, has sat in a corner, normally three of them, telling you what they can't do. Well, what they've done now is they're using our kids as guinea pigs. What they said is uh, they're drinking bottled water from now on at our furlong school. Fracking's only been going. What? Not even fracking yet, we're just drilling. And already we're hitting problems. Kids are on bottled water already. Hmm, now who makes money out of that? Plastic and water coming out of other people's uh, streams. Hmm. Do you see how, we, how the cycle? We've got to break that cycle. You've got to listen to the people of Preston New Road because we have been on the front line fighting for you and gaining that evidence of breaches, of uh, conditions, of, uh, of, uh, of regulation by email. If the list goes on, and we're getting that for you and bringing it together. So what are the kids are doing now? They, uh, Public Health England, this is the best they can do. Not test it themselves, not check any other data. What they are doing is sending a, a form to the school, giving it to people that maybe have been affected after the cryptosporidium or after the no after the uh, the, the recent water. Uh, the, the pressure's gone down. We've got uh, you know brown water coming out of taps, and all they're doing at the moment is drilling. This is quadrilling, drilling. We've got burst pipes all over the place. We've got United Utilities running around. Uh, we've got uh, what is it, 14, 15 trucks taking water off the site uh, on Wednesday. That's over a million and a half litres of, and nobody's like, bing, 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 bing. Regulators aren't going, oh, HSC aren't going, well, you know, that can't be right, that all that water coming off. So what do they do? They send, they're using our kids as guinea pigs, and saying, can you fill a form in? Tell us if you've got any ill effects. So that will go to somebody, they'll tick some boxes and say, oh, well, this is what happened. Happened. When something's happened, somebody's already suffered. If they're going to do that when there's an explosion down at the quadrilla site, they're going to do that down when there's more contamination down at the site. Are they going to do that in five or ten years' time when people are dropping with all sorts of ailments that we know is going to happen? That's why we're down at the gates. That's why we're fighting this. That's why we've won for six or six and a half, six and a half, seven years. That's why they're checking now the, the evidence and we're in week nine now because there's so much of it. But they're using our kids to do another tick box ex exercise. Public Health England, shame on you. Grow a pair and make sure that you do your job. Public health, that's what this is about. That's what we and me are protecting. That's why I put my life on the line, stopped it. So far, with all the evidence, with the MEDAP report, a medical report, Public Health England, that slagged you off at Lancashire County Council, are now sending a form to a school for kids and parents to fill in. Does that go to Atos? Has got one of the, one of the government uh, agencies that they're paying for, that we're paying for out of our money, to them? We're now nearly 11 months into where, we, where we're, we're at now. And, well, I'll come to that in a second. Uh, I think we now need... Are we ready for this now? Right, so uh, we're up to that. So what we're doing now is... I want to show you something first of all, and then I want you, not me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show you this, and then you can ask me the, the you can ask the questions then, and you can give me a call if you want to. You can private message me on my Facebook page, Frat Free Files or Gazette Ariane, and I will answer any of your questions because me personally have done nothing wrong and I have nothing to hide. But what I've had to do is fight smear campaigns and hatred and infiltration. I'm going to show you this now, and you can tell me why is this being put up. Right, now this is Rosica. Right, Rosica Awareness Group, RAG, Rosica. And they've done this 23rd of October with PNRAG appeal decision and RAG reopening public inquiry looming. We need to support these groups financially, please share. Donations can still, of course, be made direct to FFL, Frat Free Lancashire, of course, legal fund, and sort code and number. I would like to know whose that sort code and number is, whose name is on it. I would, and, and by the way, I have a right to do that, and so do you have a right to do that as well. Now, I'm going to turn this right now, so just read that. That's also on the Frat Free Lancashire page, 
and Rosica. Okay, now let's tap another one in there and see if it's, it's on somebody else's page. And then we're going to come to what the problem is. Can you read that? Click it to click. funny how that went off wasn't it uh, yeah look at that photograph and we'll move down it's on here is it on here as well let's have a look mm -hmm. oh there it is there it is now, I'm going to ask you a question. Click that round. I'm going to ask you a question. First of all, what do we need money for when we've already had the money in for the appeal? Hmm? I didn't get any of the, the funds. I've had to raise all three times the funds myself and my small group. And the second time, 440 people. Remember, we've got 440 groups in the country, but only a small amount of my share of them actually put donations in. So thank you to the 440, thank you to the 100 and 405 on the last time that we put it. Now, the appeal is in, so what do we need money for? Rosica, I've got a... Now remember I've said this a while ago, so why did they do this? Why has this now been brought out again? I didn't do this, but as you know, some people feel like they're banging their head against a wall in your groups. I bang my head against people that are causing us grief and problems. And that's what they don't like. That's why we have the smear complaint. That's why we have people, you know, uh, undermining or trying to undermine a person that is now at the appeal stage of his own back. So you tell me who would you rather listen to? The people that are jealous that they have nothing to do with it? And some of them have nothing whatsoever to do with it and I'm going to explain to you about York in a second or two. So this here, I'll show you again for those no, new people and there's somebody in here as well by the way. Right? And it says on here, all funds collected, I want people to understand this and it's not the people that keep saying stupid things about division, it's the people that actually listen and hear what's going on. Because unless we get this sorted out, what's the point in beating fracking? working our way forward, if we can be infiltrated so easily amongst the anti-fracking group. This should have been destroyed and put to bed in 2015, when I said to all the groups, which they're now trying to do, when I said Friends of the Earth, uh, Greenpeace, Frack Free Lancashire, all the groups at 38 degrees all get together. You've heard me said this so many times before, we could have nailed it then and ended fracking at that point. Yes, we could. The euphoria of what we're doing. And then that way, we won't have people outside gags now, we won't have people being arrested, we won't have people being thrown out of wheelchairs, would we? But I wasn't listened to. And what happened was the division started and the people, some people in Rydale, some people and those names will be coming forward shortly. Some people in Rydale caused the division, stopped them people allowing me to help them. Remember, we have just won again in Lancashire. We were at 6 0 at that point. Yet some people are still thinking they can do it by themselves. It's snobbery. Sometimes it's hatred. I don't care what it is. It's causing, it's causing us uh, to go backwards rather than forwards. We are going to beat this, but more people are going to suffer unless we address things like this. Now, it's a, all funds collected will go into the Frat Free Lancashire Legal Fund. A big thank you and the Frat Free Lancashire Emblem. Now, there's only about six groups that run this throughout Free Lancashire. Do you realise how many towns and villages there are in Lancashire? And this small group of people want you to get, deliver the money, and then they decide where that money's going to. And I'll remind you again, they have no legal challenge. So where the hell is the money going to? Didn't go to market at case. We know it's going to Jules Burton's case in April of next year. January, February, March, April, and the rest of this year. So why are they asking for money now for Pre Preston New Road? 
and Rosica, when some of these here have worked against Preston Year Old, and evidence will be given. This is what this yellow bucket is about. And just read what's on it. We can do better. Because all the money from Crowd Justice, with the wonderful thing about it was, that money went to the legal team. I had nothing to do with it. That was the beauty of Crowd Justice. My hands are clean. And they have done a cracking job. Week 9 we're entering now. Week 9. Without the help of Frat Free Lancashire, nothing but abuse and lies. And Rosica jumping on the people of Preston New Road. Not all the Rosica, but Rosica, you have to sort these people out. Now, who is in the yellow bucket? Da, 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 da. Now, what I'm going to show you now is a friend of Rosica. And now running Lancashire, Frat Free Lancashire, that had nothing to do with what we did at Lancashire County Council. This here is Ian Roberts, this creep on the right hand side, and I can call him that for what he has done to me and what he's put me through. And on the left here is the Chief Inspector, his brother that was the Chief of Police at Barton Moss. Barton Moss. Ian Roberts, who joined up at the beginning and created RAF with me and about four or five other people. So he was already sorting things out six or seven years ago. Well, at the end of 2011. There you go, Ian Roberts. There you go, you scumbag. And this here is his brother. This man now, who had nothing to do with what we did at Lancashire County Council, is now running the funds. I saw him on the table with the funding committee. I've seen him on the table chairing on the worst nights when I was down at Frat Free Lancashire. When I was asking for their support about a lie that Ian, uh, Ian R. Crane had said about me on the 10 minute show of his. I said, can I, we have some support in here? You know I've not done any of those things. And Ian Roberts virtually wound up the meeting and got people to work in against me. That's when I walked away. But originally, if you remember, I said I walked away from Raf because he was not working. And now we know why they didn't want it to work. This is residence action on file fracking. I was right there at the beginning helping name the group. Residence action on file fracking. This man has done nothing from day one. He's been a black hole of information dealing with the police every time he's been sticking up for the police, even at the Unite Union at the back of the end of last year in December. The union members, can you imagine how happy they were? Yeah, not too happy, were they? And he was defending them. Now we know why. Now, I am beyond reproach. Yet I have been smeared. I have had things said about me. I have had emails saying, and I am still here. So I don't bang my head against a wall. And even when I do, I'm making some noise. I bang my head against people like Ian Roberts, Barbara Richardson, uh, John Hobson. Nick Danby, the ones that are now trying to outreach, which is what I've been doing for the last six years, against the odds. 2015, there was group after group after group that I was helping and setting up all over the country, on my own back, with my own money. This is the reason I lost my house, because I've had no help, no support. You tell me anybody, this cost them a £200,000 plus house, their job, their wife, you tell anybody that's done that. And I'm still smiling. They hate that. So this is going out to those people that believe this is wrong. The people that will not give any more money to Frat Free Lancashire. Because they should not be controlling one penny that's going to any group in Lancashire. If you've got a case coming up, you, put, you do not ever now go through your, lo your local group. I believe the same thing's happening at, at one place over, I won't say that yet. I think you know what's coming. When I wanted to unite the roses, there was two. I'm pausing this. It'll be going into a playlist because I'm I can only get a 20 minute uh, thing on this, so I'm, it will be in the playlist. Uh, you'll find the the next bit, which is about 12 minutes worth, on the next video. Thank you.